Tell us why you're here. Oh, a beautiful day. Uh, my wife always has to ride at least one day every month, so this is her shot. It's nice, we got a beautiful day here. Uh, it must be 40 degrees, and it's nice to ride in December here in Longmont, Colorado. Exactly. I came because I live right on the creek and use the trail all the time. I'm glad the Greenway is open again. I thought it would be interesting to see um, what the plans are and how things have come since uh, the flood. My name is Steve Ransweiler. I'm a project manager for the Public Works and Natural Resources Department for the City of Longmont. And I'm happy to uh, announce the reopening of the Left Hand Creek Greenway. And also uh, later we'll be introducing a new project that just opened as well at the eastern part of Longmont. We're here in Left Hand Creek Park on this beautiful December morning. And um, as many of you know, we completed the project back in the summer of 2013. It was an 18 month long construction project uh, in the Southmore Park neighborhood between Pike Road and Main Street. It was a $7 million project uh, funded with $3 million of FEMA money to change the floodplain in that neighborhood that actually changed the floodplain to the point where 175 homes were no longer in the floodplain. And then uh, we were very, very uh, lucky that that project was completed because of the floods that happened in September um, of 2013. The, those floods, during those floods, the engineering improvements performed exactly as they were designed to, uh, but the vegetation that was planted with that project was not at all mature, and so a lot of the improvements that were done previously were damaged by those floods, as well as some other areas along the creek between Hover Street and uh, the confluence with St. Frank Creek. So uh, we undertook a project started back in uh, May of 2014, to repair the Greenway Trail and the channel to make sure we had the flood capacity once again in the creek. Uh, we removed uh, about 1,550 cubic yards of vegetative debris and trash that had washed through the, the creek. Uh, we removed and reused approximately 7,000 cubic yards of silt and soil and reused it to restore the banks uh, on the project that were damaged by the flood. And in addition, we removed approximately 26,000 additional cubic yards of silt and rock and debris and hauled that off site. Uh, we were fortunate enough to use the same engineering firm, Muller Engineering, to design the restoration and the same uh, contractor to Falco Construction to build the improvements. So we are uh, just finished up with that project and are happy to announce the, the trail will be, uh, will be open for the foreseeable future. <laughs> All right, well, we had a nice ride uh, here. We used the Left Hand Creek and St. Frank Greenways and uh, then took Martin Street up to 3rd Avenue and used the 3rd Avenue entryway sidewalk up to uh, Floridiano. This is the art piece that was installed in 2005 as part of the Art and Public Places program. And this used to be about where the sidewalk along 3rd Avenue ended. Uh, back in 2012, we uh, started working with Drexel Brell, uh, a Boulder engineering firm to design uh, improvements to Spring Gulch Number no. 2, which is a drainage along the, in the eastern portion of Longmont that runs through down to Sandstone Ranch to the St. Frank Creek. And uh, we were able to, as part of that project, connect Third Avenue to the sidewalk all the way to Sandstone Ranch. Curtis Ansel here is a civil engineer for the City of Longmont Engineering Department, and he was the project manager for the construction of that project, and I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit about that. Hi, I'm Curtis Ansel. I'm with the City of Longmont Public Works and Natural Resources Department. And I'm here to introduce you to the recently completed Spring Gulch Number 2 Phase 1 Drainage Way and Greenway Improvement Project. Uh, the project's located in the southeast part of uh, Longmont. 
and was built by uh, New Design Construction out of Denver. Uh, the project added about one and a half miles of uh, new concrete trail to the city's existing trailway and greenway system. The trail runs along the north side, the new trail runs along the north side of Highway 119 from 3rd Avenue to Spring Gulch at Sandstone Ranch. Part of this new construction was the construction of a 300 foot long pedestrian underpass under Highway 119. Uh, this uh, pedestrian underpass also serves as a drainage culvert that uh, will allow floodwaters from a 100 year storm event on Spring Gulch to pass safely beneath Highway 119. This project is a part of the ongoing maintenance and improvements that the city is doing with its greenways and trailway systems and this new trailway system from 3rd Avenue to Sandstone Ranch will provide a safe and convenient uh, passage for Longmont's bicyclists and pedestrians to Spring Gulch and Sandstone Ranch Park. It's a great addition for sure. This is a great day for riding. Everybody should get out there and ride here in Longmont. Now we're going to uh, head east from here along the north side of Highway 119 out to Sandstone Ranch. It'll be the next part of our ride. Looking forward to it. We had a great trail experience on the north side of Ken Pratt all the way out and to the brand new underpass underneath Highway 119 here at Sandstone Ranch. Uh, we're very excited to have a safe passage underneath, uh, underneath the highway for people to use and get to the park uh, outside of their vehicles. And as well as we're very excited that uh, during a 100 year storm event on Spring Gulch, the highway will uh, be passable uh, from an emergency vehicle standpoint. Um, so this is, as Curtis mentioned earlier, this is phase one of the Spring Gulch number two project. There is a second phase that we're uh, finishing up design in early 2015 on, which extends from the north side of this box culvert, uh, north underneath the Great Western Railroad underpass or railroad tracks, as well as um, to connecting the Union, Re Union Reservoir, and then following Spring Gulch up to County Line Road, underneath County Line Road, and then extending to Stephen Day Park. That is a uh, project that is currently funded for 2016 and 2017 construction. So we're very excited uh, to add that ex additional couple mile uh, stretch of trail to our system here in the near future and provide connectivity to Northeast Longmont, uh, from Northeast Longmont to the St. Frain Greenway and Sandstone Ranch. The ride this morning was excellent. Uh, left hand Greenway is looking, is looking great and um, the repairs that the city has done is just remarkable. And it all culminated with the new uh, tunnel underneath uh, 119 here. And this is an integral part of the overall um, trail network in Longmont. This is gonna open up Northeast Longmont, get them out to Sandstone Ranch so much easier than having to negotiate uh, County Line Road and figuring out how to safely get across the diagonal and one, Highway 119. So yeah, this is a fantastic project. and. Bike Longmont's proud to like get people on bikes and get them out here and show people how to get here too. I'm excited about this whole uh, path being opened up and now we have a safe route to get under the uh, this busy highway so this will open up the northeast part of the city with people with family that want to come over here to Sandstone Ranch and play in the park and then it also connects up with the rest of you know clear eventually to downtown and across to, uh, all the way to Airport Road someday so it's great to see how the uh, flood bonds that were passed uh, four or five years ago were, you know, this project was actually in design before the, the flood and it's kind of nice to see it come to fruition and uh, uh, I'm just really excited about everything that's happening in the city right now. So Longmont's just a great city and we're doing a lot of great projects and, uh, you know, we're recovering from the flood and uh, this is a, a healthy, vibrant community with great parks and great transportation and uh, I, anything that promotes health and wellness and movement and uh, 
our parks is is good for our city. So I'm I'm just thrilled to be part of it. We are lawnmowers.